This is the Riverhawk Report. A look back at the weekend gone by. A look ahead as well. The Riverhawks had fun on the ice. Not so much, though, at the Costello Gymnasium. Hockey and basketball in action during the weekend. Baseball, on the other hand, making some plans. We will start with hard times on the hardwood. UMass Lowell women's basketball beaten by Southern New Hampshire 58-40, the final. A close game through much of the first half. Then the Riverhawks went ice cold. Head coach Sarah Baines says they just could not make their shot. Yeah, we definitely had our opportunities, and some of the other games that we've struggled, we didn't really have good shot selection. Mm -hmm. Today we had layups, and we got to the foul line. We just didn't score. Uh -huh. uh, and I was pleased with their defensive effort. I mean, they, our, some of our presses worked pretty well, and they trapped, and they worked hard, and we just um, could put the ball in the ocean. Janae Bushner led Riverhawk scores with 10 points. UMass Lowell is 1-4. and four. They visit Stonehill on Wednesday. UMass Lowell men's basketball also struggled against Southern New Hampshire. The Riverhawks came up on the short end of an 80-68 final. Head coach Greg Horrenda says the ball club just didn't get the job done. The credit goes to Southern New Hampshire. They ran a great offense. They, they were great at transition. They spread us out. Mm -hmm. They went inside out. You know, obviously, our defense wasn't good, our rebounding, and we didn't take care of the ball. So if you do those three things poorly, um, you're not going to come out. Three River Hawks were in double digits. Akeem Williams topped the scoring list with 17. Matt Welch threw in 15. Antonio Bivens added 13. The River Hawks are 4 and 2. They visit Stonehill on Wednesday. The UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks are playing a good, solid brand of hockey. UMass Lowell defeated Alabama Huntsville 3-0 back on Friday night. The Riverhawks peppered the Huntsville net with 49 shots. Josh Holmstrom, Derek Arnold, and Scott Wilson got goals. The right point, Wilson, right board, Wilson. Down, down low, comes across in front, Holmstrom, shot, score! Josh Holmstrom gives the Riverhawks a 1-0 lead, pretty passing. Ferreira cross ice, Arnold drive, score! Arnold from the left faceoff circle, a one-timer, and the Riverhawks have a two to nothing and lead. Rizzo. Shot save, rebound, shot, Wilson score! And it is three nothing Riverhawks. Scott Wilson is fifth goal of the the season. Doug Carr between the pipes turned aside 20 shots in picking up his second consecutive shutout. The Riverhawks with a 7-4 record have two games with UNH this weekend. Friday night will be at the Saga Center. The Stanley Cup by the way will be there as well. Saturday they're up in Durham, New Hampshire. I know, I know, it's not even Christmas yet, but... The UMass Lowell 2012 baseball schedule has been unveiled. 50 games in the regular season. It all starts on February 25th. I think it's pretty balanced. Um, I think we challenge ourselves early. We challenge ourselves late. I think our non-conference schedule really will test us and make us battle-tested for those uh, games when we come back north from Florida and we get into the heart of our conference schedule. Um, but I think that we have an opportunity to play some really, really good teams early, which will make us better late. That's baseball head coach Ken Herring, and that is the Riverhawk Report.